Good afternoon, my friends. Uh, thank God it's Friday. Um, over here in the Northeast, the weather's getting nasty. It's supposed to rain uh, from tonight, I think, all the way through Sunday. So I plan to do very little this weekend. Um, so uh, if you haven't joined me yet in uh, my 50-day prayer journey that the Lord has placed on my heart, we're on day 20. I, I kindly encourage you to join us. Tomorrow's day 21. If you have any prayer requests, just put them in the comments and I'll lift them up in prayer. Um, why am I doing this? I'm doing this because the Holy Spirit, the Lord has led me and called me to do this. What his purpose behind this and what he wants to show me or tell me or us in this and through this, I have no idea. But I pray that in due time he will show us. But why Why am I also doing this? Because in 1 Timothy 2, one it says, first of all, then I urge that supplications, prayers and intercessions and thanksgiving be made for all people. Okay, so I'm praying and I'm interceding for you guys. And then also in Philemon, it says, uh, verses 4 to 7, it says, I thank my God making mention of you always in prayers, hearing of your love and faith which you have towards the Lord towards all the, and towards all the saints, towards each other. We have love towards each other. That the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus for we have great joy and consolation in your love because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed by your brother amen so it's beautiful to share to to uh, pray for each other and don't forget to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ throughout the whole world uh, many of them are being persecuted as uh, yesterday's prayer was about about the same thing I mean this morning's prayer was actually about the same thing about that so um I want to share with you guys um a couple of messages that the Holy Spirit gave me back in, I believe all three of them were in 2020 at different times. Um, I shared already two videos. Um, one was on visions that he gave me. He gave me a vision of a dam. Go look at that that video. And also he gave me a vision of a dark lake. And not only did he give me visions, but he also gave me interpretation of what it meant. He spoke to me and told me what these things meant. So I encourage you to go watch them uh, because I'm going to share three words that he shared with me and then my last video in this um this series that i'm doing is going to be another vi vision that he gave me a really intense vision um and he actually gave me some dates i don't want to say dates but years years um i'm going to share this all in my in that last video so i encourage you to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss it some of you might not be happy with what I have to share, but don't be mad at me. It's what the Holy Spirit spoke to me and what he showed me. So anyway, uh, the first thing that he spoke to me in 2020, it was on May 6, 2020. And I remember this day very clearly. It was May 6, 2020. And we were just a couple of months into COVID. And um, I remember I was in prayer and I asked the Lord, I said, like, what's, what's the purpose? Like, what's your message to us through this pandemic, through this virus that's going around. What, what are we supposed to learn? What is your message? And I clearly heard the Holy Spirit say to me, they missed it. Humanity missed the message. And the message was that through this pandemic, many, the world was supposed to turn to the Lord and go to the Lord for answers to seek the Lord. But instead, Many went to man, they went to governments, they went to science, they went to all these politicians, doctors, they went to man for answers first. They should have sought the Lord first. As a matter of fact, many even left the church. Many even left the Lord because, you know, because everything was locked down. They left the Lord and they didn't, they didn't return. Yes, I know that some people did come to the Lord during the pandemic, but I think, I think, no, I know that many more left in masses. So we missed that message. So the Lord calls us and he's given us messages. And when we don't hear him, when we don't listen to him, he's only going to allow us to reap what we're sowing. So anyway, so we see what's going on, what happened after COVID and what's going on. And the second uh, word that I heard the Holy Spirit said to me was, I was in prayer in July. This was, I was in prayer all the time, but this was when I heard it was in July. I was praying for the upcoming presidential election. Obviously, I was praying for victory for President Trump. And I was praying, and this was early July, and um, and I heard no. That's all I heard. I heard the word no. Every time I, every time I was in prayer and I would pray for, for you know, favor for President Trump, I would just hear no. 
I just kept hearing every single day that I prayed and I couldn't believe it. And I'm like, and now just a couple of months before I was telling my coworkers that I believed that President Trump was going to win by millions, maybe 10, 20 million votes he was going to win by. But then when I started hearing the Holy Spirit saying that, I was like, and then I, foolishly, I told my coworkers who are not saved and they told me I was crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. And also, I used to belong to a Facebook group, Prayers for President Trump, it was called. And I believe the group got up to like almost 40,000 people on it. And like <laughs> like a fool, I mentioned what the Holy Spirit said to me. <sighs> Did I get called out? Oh, my Lord. I was called every name in the book, a heretic, a false teacher, a false prophet. Now, I never claimed to be any prophet. I was just saying, listen, I was praying. This is what I heard. And they were like, no, they were just like, I mean, they were like, they were like, rebuke you, the Lord rebuke you. And I was like, oh my, I left the, I left the group and got so crazy. Well, we know what happened in 2020. President Trump didn't win. I'm not saying I'm a prophet. I'm just saying that's what the Holy Spirit said to me. And that's what happened. And then the third thing that I want to share with you guys, um, I believe it might've been right at the end of 2020, maybe in the beginning of 2029. I mean, 2021, I was in, um. I was in prayer and I saw this vision and this wasn't a word that the Holy Spirit gave me. It was a quick one. It was like, you know, when you get those quick visions and it was a quick vision. I was in and I felt I saw this huge explosion. I mean, a huge explosion. It was a plane. There was a plane flying. Yeah, there was a plane flying. And then I saw a missile, like a missile just shoot towards the plane. And on the tail wing of the plane, it had the letters SW really big really really big and then i saw like a like a plume from like a nuclear bomb a huge huge plume and it was all smoke and then i just felt myself like falling backwards kind of like if when you're you know leaning back and you fall into a water into a pool and you just see the water coming in that's what i felt like when i just i was going and saw it backwards and i came i just came out of that vision i was like what in the world was that um, I asked the Holy Spirit for interpretation, but I didn't get any interpretation. So I started reasoning in my own mind. Um, was that Southwest? Could it be Southwest, Southwestern the United States? Or is the Southwest the United States going to get hit with a nuclear bomb? Or I don't know. I don't know. But that was like two years ago. And that's all I got out of that. But the other two, I, I, I know the Holy Spirit. I know the Holy Spirit gave me very clear interpretation of what those two uh, messages he gave me he gave me worse so anyway so that's that so i'll try record my last video on this series here um hopefully sometime this weekend and i'll, I'll post it up uh again my last one is going to be like the strongest one um i'll just give you a hint it's part it it's the first video that i recorded when i started this channel it's part of that it's part of that is included in it so anyway god bless you my friends have a nice weekend